literally spoke about this yesterday. I had no idea this news was coming out today, although we did find out some new news yesterday. And this news that we got today clarifies that leak that we got yesterday, right? So what was the leak yesterday? The leak yesterday was that Google is actually using, what's the name of it? Why, excuse me, Google is using a Taiwanese company for their chips, for their new CPUs. Uh, They're going to use a company called KYEC. So we discussed that yesterday and I was like, wow, surprised they're not going with TSMC because they had already signed a contract and everything. So it was kind of like, that's kind of big news that they're going with another company over uh, TSMC. TSMC is a uh, a CPU manufacturer uh, that that their most popular client is Apple, right? TSMC manufactures all the uh, CPUs for Apple, iPhones, iPads, all that stuff. Now, Google is moving away from the Exynos-based Tensor chip. Uh, Samsung uh, and and Google uh, forged a deal, a contract uh, up and through the up to the Pixel Nine, basically for four years. That uh, Google would design it, and I mentioned I compared it to home building. Uh, home building as in let me expand this so y'all can see home building as in home building as in if this was a if if uh, a CPU was a home right so how it works is the way it's set up now between Google and Samsung with the tensor chip it is an Exynos based CPU um, and how I compared it to is a home, right? So Samsung has like prefabricated homes, right? Like the KB homes, you see they build those huge neighborhoods and they all look like cookie cutter homes. They, they all look the same. Well, that's how this is. Think of it with CPUs. So instead of KB home, think of KB home as Samsung and think of you as Google. So Samsung has got a mold, has got a foundation of what the home and or CPU is. And then you simply come in and design the home how you want it, right? So Samsung and or KB Homes builds the foundation. They build the structure of the home, all right? The the wood frame and everything. And then you come in as Google and then you get to pick the siding. You get to pick the... Uh, the doors inside the home you get to pick the all sorts of stuff crown molding carpet tile all that stuff marble countertops all that stuff that that's what google's doing with this tensor so it's right now as it's set up google's not in charge of a hundred percent of the uh, uh, home building process or chip building process you see i think that's the easiest way i can compare it to and that's going to change. So Google's contract with Samsung was lasting for four years. Now that's up until the Pixel 9. So this upcoming Pixel, we're currently on Pixel 8. That's year three. Pixel 9 year f- is the fourth year, final year of their contract. And the Pixel 9 comes out here in this year, October, right? And I, we are going to try to go to that one. I, I will try to go to that one. I got invited last year and I couldn't go. Um... So, long story short, I'm not trying to make this too long, so we'll get to this story. But uh, what I'm describing leads up to this story. So, yesterday, just giving you the idea of the Samsung and Google relationship with Tensor. Yesterday, we got the news. Yesterday, we got the news that Google is going to go with... K-Y-E-C. And uh, again, if you want a a full explanation, you can check out episode 9 of Daily Tech News, yesterday's episode, where we break it down. But that struck me as weird, right? Because everything was signed, sealed, and delivered for Google to go with TSMC. Because with TSMC, TSMC, 
all they do is build the CPU to how you instruct it. It's like a custom home builder, I guess, right? So you design the foundation, you design the structure, you design everything, you tell them how to make it, and then they build it. That's what TSMC does. That's what TSMC does with Apple's CPUs. And that's what Google is going to start to do with their CPUs, starting on, in uh, uh, with the Pixel 10, right? So not this upcoming one, Pixel 9, it'll be next year's Pixel 10. I was like, damn, that's weird. Why are they going with KYEC? Well, the news today, the report today, uh, let me bring this back up, states that that wasn't the full story yesterday. So they, I mean, it was true, but there's more behind the details. So a, a, a report saying Google handed over its self-developed chip to the Taiwanese company KYEC in preparation for testing. The chip is expected to be the Tensor G5, which the publication state should begin testing in the middle of this year. So here in just a few months, the Tensor G5 powering the Pixel 10 is the beginning of Google's departure from Samsung semiconductors as it seeks full authority in its chip creation. So where does KYEC fall in? So Samsung, excuse me, so Google's basically going to use a KYEC is a company, a competitor or a company like TSMC. They build semiconductors and CPUs as well. They're just not well known, but Google's going to use them for testing KYEC. So Google is going to design this from the ground up. They're designing the home, custom home from the ground up. They're going to, Google's giving those plans though that those schematics to kyec kyec is going to build you know a few hundred or a few thousand of those chips um and they're going to start testing them you're going to kyec is going to manufacture a whole bunch of different chips that google designed and they're going to start testing them see which ones work best which one's the most powerful which one's the most battery efficient uh which one has better gpu performance so uh, which one has better uh, uh, uh heat transfer heat dissipation all sorts of testing right once google narrows it down to a few maybe three to five chips designs then they'll extensively test those and they'll make it down to one final maybe two but one final design one final chip design from the ground up once they have that custom chip once google has their custom cpu that kyec manufactured um they're gonna take those schematics they're gonna take that chip that kyec manufactured and then basically move that chip and those plans and how it's built over to TSMC for the final chip production. So Google's base, and we didn't get that news yesterday. All we knew yesterday was they're moving to KYEC. Well, I thought KYEC was going to produce and manufacture the final chip. No, they're, Google's just using them to for testing purposes and then they're taking that kyec built chip and the schematics and everything over to sorry over to tsmc tsmc is going to build because i think tsmc doesn't want to do a bunch of testing with google right uh apple's got their i don't know who apple maybe they use tsmc uh for testing i have no idea i don't know those details but the details we got of KYEC and Google's custom Tensor G5 uh, uh, got clarity today because that kind of had me kind of taken back yesterday. Um, that will be the the app the Pixel to get the Pixel 10. That's going to be the Pixel to get. Now, why do I say that? Because that's where you're, that's where you're real, look, for, for the badass phone, for the real beautiful, nice phone that Google makes right now, they're kind of just waiting around, right? They're kind of just waiting in the water, 
keeping their head above above a uh, 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 surface level because Pixel 10 is really when this device, the Pixel line, is going to take off uh, because that allows them full control to basically do anything they want. When it comes when it comes to machine learning, when it comes to that's when AI is going to take off. Some of the stuff they got now, eh, it's kind of cool, but I, you know, I don't use a lot of AI in my phone. It's not why I bought the phone. I bought the phone because it has, it, it looks beautiful. Can't the cameras are phenomenal. Um, it's pure Google, right? And that's why I got it. Pixel 10 is when the AI stuff is really going to take off. Now it's going to be in about a year and a half, but I guarantee you. They got a lot of cool stuff up their sleeve that they have engineered um, uh, software side, hardware side, but they can't fully fuse it together and, and the AI can't really come to full life um, until Google gets full control over their CPUs. Because even now when using Samsung, they're, they're even though they, they got away from uh, Snapdragon from Qualcomm. It's still it, that was a big big step, right? But they're still limited into what they can do as far as um, heat dissipation, clock speeds. Maybe they want to add uh, uh, an NPU neural processing unit. Well, they did add one, but uh, you know, just customization. You're you, you can just imagine the kind of cool stuff. So definitely can't wait. We will be getting the Pixel 9, yes, but Pixel 10, if you want to hold down, uh, if the Pixel 9 looks similar to the Pixel 8 and you want to hold out, I would strongly suggest you hold out until the Pixel 10. Mark my words, that's going to be the one to 